It's the morning of the day that I leave for my travels and it's so strange that the day has finally come. My name's Lena and if you've been following along with my channel or watching any of my videos, you might know that I'm currently on a gap year to give myself a bit more time to travel this year. I've been back in my hometown to kind of give myself the chance to save and I've been counting down the days since I've been back and the time has finally come and the day is here and I'm all packed and ready and I'm so excited and it's such a strange feeling. I thought I'd kind of take you guys along with everything that I'm going to be taking with me for this trip. I have no idea how long I'll be gone for. I'm hoping for at least a few months but it just depends how far my money is going to take me. I'll be going to some parts of Europe with my family for three weeks and then after that I'm going to be all on my own and solo traveling for the unforeseeable or foreseeable future. I never know which one to use. So I've kind of tried to pack for all the different scenarios that are going to come with that. It is starting to warm up and starting to go into summer but it is still April so it is kind of cold so I've had to kind of accommodate for that as well. This is the backpack that I'll be bringing. It is humongous right now. It's a Backpack Pegasus 55 plus 15 litre day pack, I believe. Um, I didn't do heaps of research before I bought this. It was just like a really good marketplace find. So this bag was $120, which is a very good price. The big main compartment kind of opens up like a suitcase and then it's also got this backpack that attaches to it. So if I can strap that down, I don't necessarily have to carry it on my front which is going to be helpful. It's got very well padded straps and like a waist belt so it seems like it's going to be comfortable. It is still pretty heavy but it is kind of my whole life for the next few months so I did kind of expect to be taking a check-in bag on my first backpacking trip just so I could actually bring everything that I think I need. I might start with this big kind of compartment and then go on to the little day pack. My cat is here as well keep waking her up because she keeps sleeping in very inconvenient spots on this bed. Before I get into what's actually in the bags, I do have these three locks that I'm going to be putting on the outsides of my bags to kind of keep them secure while they're in baggage and then also a spare for hostel lockers or anything else I might need it for. This pocket is huge and kind of just unzips like a suitcase. Everything fits really nice and snug but I definitely could kind of squish things down a bit more so there probably still is a tiny bit of room left if I do end up buying stuff but I'm kind of prepared to you know donate old clothes if I want to swap things out or just not really buy that many material things because I'm gonna to have to carry them on my back. I've obviously got my big main toiletries bag which folds out like this. I got it from Kmart like years ago when I went to Hawaii and it's been great for any travel trip ever since. I've got my kind of important things in here so like contacts and toothpaste and shampoo and conditioner. I am taking a shampoo bar and I've used these before for years and they're great but I find that conditioner bars are really drying for me and don't really work for my hair and I did just buy a brand new bottle of conditioner so I'm gonna take that with me. I've got a razor in here, some nail clippers and also a little bit of makeup for like nights out or if we're going somewhere nice. I also have a second kind of toiletries or important things bag because I don't know how long I'm going to be gone for and there are some very like specific products that I need for like my contacts that I need to make sure that I have with me. But in here I've kind of got everything else so there's like sunscreen, iron tablets, um, like ibuprofen, Barocca and like a nasal spray and Vicks in case I get sick. Praying that I don't, but I always seem to get sick at some point when I travel. Fair hair ties, gum, band-aids, contacts, just the whole lot. I'm also breaking these silicon containers so I can cook and they kind of fold really nicely into each other and I ended up buying containers the last time I traveled and I figured I just come prepared with some and I'm also bringing a little spice thing of turmeric because hostels often have like salt and pepper and stuff but I just really stand by turmeric as like an immunity booster and if I'm starting to feel unwell I feel like if I just have a bunch of turmeric it'll probably not be as bad. I've also decided to bring like an extra kind of handbag so that when I'm out in the city I don't have to be lugging around like this big black backpack. This fits like my laptop and camera and everything if I need to go somewhere to do a bit of editing or something like that. And it'll also be nice when I'm wearing like a nicer outfit like a dress or something and I can easily like hold it on me so no one's going to try to steal my stuff as well. In there for now I've also got an extra tote bag and what is going to be my laundry bag just for, I don't know, carrying extra stuff or groceries or anything. And also a couple of hair clips, which I've been wearing so much recently. They're just so easy when your hair kind of doesn't want to sit as nicely. So 
just clip it up and be done with that. Now onto clothes, which is kind of the rest of what's in here. I've had such mixed advice on what to pack for clothes, ranging from like bring, you know, like two pairs of shorts and a couple shirts and you'll be fine, which yes. But then I've also had people say, bring all your favorite and your best clothes because you're in Europe and you're going to want to look good. So I've kind of done a bit of an in-between and made sure I've packed lots of kind of small summery stuff but then also a couple like dresses and skirts and rain jacket too so one rain jacket that my best friend beck is letting me take on this trip and that is not in the packing cube it's just kind of floating this is all my bikinis and some sunnies there are four pairs in there which is kind of a lot but if i'm by a warmer place by the beach i tend to kind of live in bikinis and it's just nice to have a few different ones a couple of pairs of these are also quite old and i know that so if i have to get rid of them i'm prepared to and i'm not going to be super upset this packing cube has all of my tops and t-shirts i think i've got two t-shirts plus like a sleeping shirt a couple of tank tops and then a couple of like nicer tops and also a scarf top because that is so versatile and I can use it for kind of anything. There's a fair few in here but they kind of all mix and match with the bottom so I've still got a few outfits for kind of casual situations and then also nicer situations as well. That's just a little bucket hat on top so my scalp doesn't get burnt. Then I have this huge packing cube which is honestly kind of floppy. I do kind of wish I got the compressible cubes but it is what it is. This has got my underwear and socks packing cube and I'm only bringing one bra because a lot of the tops I'm looking I can wear without one. The rest of this has all of my bottoms and dresses so I've got three pairs of shorts, two longer skirts, one shorter skirt if I want to wear it like on a night out or something and then also a long dress and a like shorter kind of more casual dress as well. It looks like a lot in the packing cube but when you kind of put it in numbers it really doesn't seem like that much. I feel like it's a good amount so we're gonna see. That's everything that's in this kind of main cabin and then at the bottom there is like a separate section for shoes. I don't know if you can see but it kind of opens up to keep them all safe and separate from everything else. I'm bringing three pairs of shoes. The first ones are just like sneakers that I can wear on like hikes and walks and all of that. Then I have these Tiva sandals which are so functional and great and you can get them wet and everything on like Berks so they're really easy. They're probably not going to match all of my outfits but whatever. And then I've also just got my docks that I'm going to wear on the plane because they're a bit heavier and bulkier and these are so comfortable to me and I've worn them most days. I've worn them like accidentally on hikes and like in festivals and just like to work and everywhere so I feel like this is going to go with most of what I'm wearing but also kind of functional enough that I can pair them with most things and still be pretty comfortable. And then for the day pack this kind of has all of my valuables and everything that I'm going to be bringing on the plane. It feels so tiny compared to the other backpack holding it just now but first thing I have is obviously this neck pillow which is just for the plane because I really struggle to sleep on planes and hopefully that'll help me at least a little bit. Here I've got my little wallet or purse that will also fit my phone if I just want to carry this. My laptop and my hard drive is also in here. In this pocket I've got my Kindle and then also my travel journal. This pocket's kind of got the small but important things. So we've got earphones, a little tiny power bank, a little tiny perfume and a pen. There's also some earplugs in here in case I need them. I've got this little film camera that I haven't used yet but I'm so excited to use it. This was a gift from my best friend Beck again so Thanks Beck, this is going to be amazing. And I'll also obviously bring my little Sony camera that I'm filming with as well in this bag. This little pencil case has a few more pens and a glue stick in case I want to stick anything into my journal and a power adapter plug because all of my cables are going to live in here. That's all the different charging cables I'm going to need. And then my wired earbuds also live in here too. I've got a universal power adapter, a little tiny hairbrush, and lastly, just some deodorant and my favorite moisturizer that I've put in like a silicon squeezy thing to bring on the plane with me. That's really it. Everything is so empty now and all over my floor, but I think I've packed really well for what I think I'm going to need and kind of taken bits and bobs from past trips with what worked well and what maybe could have worked better. Hopefully there'll be more fun travel videos coming up soon. I'm really excited to be able to take my camera around everywhere as well and keep taking lots of photos and videos of just all the beautiful places. Stay tuned for that. Follow along if you'd like to. I'll be back in another video and in a completely different place very soon.